Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Virgo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Remember that these energies can go vice versa. Also, I have a, a little dog right here on my lap, so if you see anything moving, it's her. Um, <clears throat> all right. Um, if there's been uh, issues between you and another, if there has been a, an obstacle that's fallen in the path and that may have separated you two, um, know that that is temporary energy and that this is not over. Um, this is, this will pass. Okay. Um, so why this is happening is most likely what I'm about to tell you. Okay. We have the doll. And so the doll is about illusions, old wounds. Um, it could be wounds that go back to childhood as it is a child at the heart. Um, it could be somebody um, remembering, holding on to wounds of the past. Um, it could be somebody who did not have an easy childhood. Uh, those wounds still bleed and may have uh, shaped uh, the path that they're on or is currently affecting it. Okay. And this is... Um, being confirmed also here uh, with the fantasy and the white dress and the healing card. So the fantasy is about the imagination and um, the white dress is uh, pretending everything's okay when it's not, you know. It could also indicate a change in status. So they may have been pretending everything was okay when it wasn't and it's something that they were keeping contained um hidden with the moon um hidden here with the card of fantasy um and and then it just exploded it's not these wounds they did not share with you um but you would have seen signs of these wounds in the little things um, this person did, like the way they may have reacted to certain things, specific things. The healing card says that they are hurting. Um, this speaks to broken-hearted uh, pain. Um, they could be seeking help uh, for that which is uh, uh, hurting them. Um, do you see down here uh, with this card? Oh, uh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Eight of Swords also. There's a deeper issue that's hidden. There's only nine cups here. One is missing. It's hidden behind the curtain. Now, there's a reason why this has been made this way, this card. You see how he's being offered different choices on that plate to choose from. Okay, so this is about uh, choices, making choices. Um, and there's a deeper issue behind the curtain um, that is affecting the choices, something hidden they, they cannot see in the subconscious here with the moon, the subconscious mind. Um, there's something that this person is not seeing, is not uh, realizing, but they will. Um, it's happening at this time for a reason, so things are really stirred up. Uh, here, or things are getting really stirred up um, because they need to see. Here they are fighting these inner demons. 
always feeling like somebody's hiding something from them. Um, in constant denial of what the real issue is. Blaming others. And so, um, nope, it goes this way. This is what the obstacle is. Yeah, and so we see that there was a fight. There was a fight. Somebody was not seeing the real issue, okay, behind this, or behind what uh, s what set them off. Here we have a very angry sky. There, a fight uh, took place. But they are about to get that wake-up call. So we have the card of Ascension. And... Um, this is a struggle uh, to uh, to gain control uh, over the will and the emotion, to bring those things into balance. And it's happening because of the swords, you know. They, they feel like they're going to get their heart broken. This is about a decision. They're worried about a decision. And this could be a decision for a relationship. It could be somebody new. Or uh, it could be uh, somebody get, uh, wanting a second chance or another chance with you. And this could be uh, what you're worried about, you or they, like however this goes, okay? We have the dagger on this. And so this, this is that uh, somebody having a lot of fears, worries, very tense situations, thoughts of betrayal, you know? They, and they... They're like constantly on guard. They never know when that you know, knife is going to strike, right? And so um, this is that sense of foreboding that somebody has. And you see it here uh, again. This is somebody who feels like a victim. Um, so this is you or it is the other person. So if there is, like, uh, if this obstacle has come between you, this is why. This is why. Because there is a very deep connection here. Um, there is love here. But all of this, this, these old wounds are overshadowing it and affecting the connection. But it is not going to last, not with this card here. Somebody may feel like their hands are tied, you know, when it comes to overcoming the, the, the difficulties. And because they feel their hands are tied, and because of the swords, well, they're resisting, okay, um, trying to fix things or overcome things. The sun will, uh, will shed light on any of the red flags that this person is seeing. Uh, or thinks that they're seeing because the imagination is here. And so um, all of these cards can all speak to imagined things. And I think that this is what what the sun is going to shed it, its light upon. This is what is going to become crystal clear, that it was the imagination. And then you must take uh, this per person, whoever this is, must take a deeper look at why they were thinking those thoughts because with the eight of swords here they have been in denial of what the real truth is um, behind these thoughts they've been having behind the issues that um, that have been between you know you two and so and that's where the healing begins once you recognize the problem and once there's awareness then from there, uh, you can heal. The jug. So the jug is really, really a good card. Um, and it's simply saying that if you've been burdened by anything, you or they, whoever this is, it's like there's a lifting of these burdens. Um, a breaking free 
of the fears that have haunted uh, this person for possibly a very long time. Um, breaking patterns here with the devil. There's some kind of reprieve that is coming in for this situation. Oh yeah, see there's the love. <laughs> oh yeah, the love is here, okay? And somebody really wants to offer the other their cup. They love this person, but they've been terribly hurt in the past, and so um, they're afraid to love. That's what it is. They're afraid to love. They're afraid to open up to love. But, you know, uh, they will. They will uh, get through this because that's what this jug is saying. There will be reprieve from that which you are struggling with or have been over or that has been uh, burdening you or them. And so the torch brings enlightenment, understanding, illumination. Everything is about to become crystal clear to this person. They will see what was behind that curtain, what was hidden. Uh, behind that curtain, the emotional issue, the emotional wound there will come to light. And once they know um, what was behind the decisions that landed them in the, the place that they're in, well, there they now they know, they know how to proceed. They know the way forward from there. Somebody, see, was imagining things, uh, thoughts of betrayal. This just generated all of this mistrust between you, causing all of these issues. And so the hermit sheds his light on this situation, and the owl lends its eyes for this person to see through the dark and get clear on what the real problem is. You see, the cane uh, tells me that this person is uh, tired, okay, um, that this situation has been draining them, and it is time, it is time to pay attention uh, to what has been causing all of these problems. This, the cane is, is uh, taking care of your health, paying attention, attention to your health, whether that be physical, mental, emotional. And here we're talking about the emotional health um, and the mental part, the mind also, because the mind is being bombarded uh, by all of these fears. It, it, it's this wound that has been left to fester you know, is causing a lot of negative thinking and affecting uh, this person's choices, affecting their life, affecting their happiness. So, finally, this awareness, this illumination uh, is had, is found by this person. By looking to the past, they find this wisdom. And now they can kind of shed that skin and have a rebirth. You see, with that snake he's holding there. So, Six of Swords is over here. And in this deck, it speaks to a fresh approach to a problem. Blocked paths now become clearer because of that, okay? Moving from negative to positive. This has been a process for this person, you know. But uh, 
now it's it's like now is the time for for this to happen. Moving away from past failures and seeking restoration um, in new ways of thinking, a fresh approach. And it's like that fresh approach is what was needed to save this relationship and to save this person, basically. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.